It's not just about you. Girl, and it's not just about you. You literally just said you're half of this relationship. Hello? Fuck it. We should just break up. Well, I saw that coming a mile away. I'm sorry, Tisha. No, you're not. You're not sorry. You're not sorry, Evelyn. You're not. You're not sorry at all. I just can't anymore. I know. I know I fucked this up. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Honestly, yeah, you did. There was literally, there was literally no problem. Yeah, you did, Evelyn. Yeah, this is on you. Honestly, if, if this was like, if I was free to type, I'd be like, just go. It's like, just get out of my life. Bro, thank you for wasting my time and effort. You're not going to get any sympathy from me. Okay, you're mad, and I get that. I just can't believe you do something like this. Go, go chase your Steve now. Go chase your Steve Dryers. I need to I need to say this and I need you to know I mean it. I hope we can still be friends and when this is all blows blows over. Nope, need my sanity. Sorry, but my own sanity comes first. On oh, god. If you think you can have a this bad of a breakup if you think you could really have this bad of a breakup with your ex and then still be friends with them, you're you're fucking insane. There is there is no way you'll have the right mindset and the right mind to even with this kind of breakup and then be still be friends with your ex is fucking insane. There is no way. There is no fucking way. Okay, well this I guess. This is really a goodbye. Yeah. Hope you enjoy your life. That was sarcasm. Bye, Tisha. Bye, Evelyn. You were a lie and I fell hard. Tries to play the guilty. Tries to play the fucking innocent. That's crazy. I don't know. Evelyn basically just ended things. What the fuck just happened? I just saw Evelyn's status. Holy shit, are you okay? I mean, I've definitely been better. I'm so sorry, Tisha. Don't be. It's not your fault. Want me to post something? <laughs> Want me to post some obscenities on her wall or something? Uh, yes, please do. Excuse me, how dare you break up with Tisha? I hope you I hope you can look in the mirror and see yourself for the real dick bagel you are. Nice. How about that? Oh god, please define dick bagel for me. Dick bagel. Noun. An individual who an individual with a personality somewhere between a douche canal and a bitch biscuit. Thanks for the laugh, Matt. So what, like, happened? What What did Evelyn say? I don't know. She said she feels like we're more friends than anything else. Which, again, what the fuck? That seems pretty out of the blue. I guess it's been building up for a while. Seems like that was a communication issue on her side of things. For real, thank you. And because of that shit, she wanted to break up. She wanted to separate, but... But still to be a, together and take a break. Jesus fucking Christ. So she changed her mind during your conversation? Yeah, I wasn't putting up with it. With her bullshit. Good, what the fuck did she expect? For real, Matt. You're a real one. I don't know. Something doesn't make sense here. Haha. <laughs> hey, Eva, is everything okay? Text me when you see this. Fuck you, Steve! Dryers? I hope your fucking head gets stuck in a dryer. God damn it. Fuck you, Steve. Good, what the fuck did she ex expect? I don't know, something doesn't uh, make sense here. Can I ask you, can I ask a maybe not okay question? 
Sure thing. Tonight can't get much shittier. Does this have anything to do with Steve? Oh yeah, for sure this is about Steve. So you think she broke up with you to date someone else? Yeah, it definitely seems that way. That's a fucking dick bagel move. Yeah. It really fucking hurts. You don't think she like cheated on you, right? I don't know for sure, but I, I don't think so. I don't think she did. Maybe, I don't know. Well, that's a relief at least. Doesn't make it any better. Because if she did, oh man, the choice, the choice words I would have for her. Oh shit, you have even more choice words? Oh yeah, we'd be in cunt muffin territory for sure. Cunt muffin. Yep, that's been the best one yet, cunt muffin. LOL, why thank you very much. But, uh, do you mind if I get a semi-serious, semi-serious for Sure, I'll allow it. I know it might not feel like this now. But if Evelyn does have feelings for someone else, I think this is the best possible outcome. And how do you figure that? Like, I know you and Evelyn already talked about Steve, and nothing really changed. But like I'm I'm sure I'm sure how things could be have gotten better. Maybe if I had something uh something sooner about us drifting or whatever. I mean she made it pretty clear her friends were important to her, right? I don't think challenging that would have gone over well. Oh yeah, shit, I forgot she cared about her friends more. Damn, I forgot. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, that is true. I guess we were doomed all along. Damn, I totally forgot about that. Maybe I am overreacting. Maybe she was right. Look, all I'm saying is you choose to trust Evelyn and have faith in, in your relationship. That means something. Yeah, it means that I'm an idiot. No, it means you're a trusting good person. Oh. And Evelyn didn't deserve you, Tisha. Thanks for the kind words, Matt. Hey, so I remember when Kelly dumped my ass super hard last year. And look how you bounce right back, right? I made this music playlist that really helped me get through the shit. Can I send it to you? Sure. What's better than 303 when you get, when you get broken up with? No sad 303 here. It's the exact opposite. <sighs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Matt's depressing playlist. Jesus, Matt, you're fucking crazy. Oh, well, we both already knew that. But I'm just hoping it helps make your night a little better. It is. Thanks, Matt. So, 
So do you want to get together and, and chill tonight? We could play video games or something. Yeah, sure. That sounds like it could be pretty fun. Fun for me when I kick your ass and Guitar Hero! Through the fires and flames, let's fucking go! Oh god, my hand is already cramping. As we go on, we remember all the times we had together. And as our lives change from whatever, we will still be friends forever. Oh my god, a depression. We're playing that song now, hold on. But anyways, where were we? All right, I'll get some shit together and head o over in a little bit. Hey, thanks for being such a good friend, Matt. I'm crying. Shut the fuck up, Tisha. <laughs> see you. See you like an hour. Deuces, Matt. Peace. Oh. oh, we will still be friends forever. Toes in the sand, heads in the clouds. Who's this yellow person? My bestie. Booty pit, courtesy of wifey. Sunshine and tan lines. Who's the yellow person? That's my wife. Who is the yellow person? Oh, it's Kelly. Oh, I forgot it's Kelly. Hey, Tisha. Oh, hey there, Emily. This is like super random, but me and Kelly are going to throw a senior summer party thing. And we were wondering if you and Matt would want to come. I'm down, but I'll have to ask Matt. Cool beans. I'll send you an invite. Cool beans. Wait, when is this? Yo, this weekend. High school is fucking over. We're all going off to college soon. We'll be... All adult e and shit. Let's spend the night celebrating how immature we actually are. Yes, wife, this is a good idea. Yes, wife! Thank you for the invite. I'll be there. I hope we get some new music because I want to dance. I'll do my best. Laters. Aww. Emily is Away by Kyle Seeley. Tedic Pay by Marlon. That was it? Wait, that was it? That chapter seems so fast. Damn. Wow, that was such an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> oh my god. Your personal stats of 20, 2209 edition. Your story. 
You win 48 players, so the Evelyn party. You win 46. Damn. I don't even know how I feel about this game. <laughs> this, this is such a roller coaster. Holy shit. Thanks for playing. Matt and Tisha being Matt and Tisha. Timber, thanks for coming to the party, Tisha. It was great to hang out again. Alright y'all, that was Emily is away. That game was such an emotional roller coaster, I am not gonna lie. Uh that <sighs> not gonna lie, that 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 game was an emotional roller coaster, okay? That really brought out like that really that brought out like my jealousy my my jealousy type shit. That was damn. Ah, damn. <sighs> wow. I don't know if we should do another um I don't know if we should do part 2 or anything, but I think there is a part 2. I'll probably look it up after here, but um I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, Cuz I mean I I enjoyed the game to a certain extent, except the last episode where it triggered me in so many ways. But I mean, I, I the first like first couple, the first two chapters, I I definitely resonated. Like holy shit, my my millennial self is showing. Blah, 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 blah. But um, no cap, no cap. This game fucking put me through some shit. I was over here kicking my feet like, oh my god, I got a virtual girlfriend. Next thing you know, she's not really into me and we drift apart. Or she drifts apart from me. And the fact that we totally forgot like she was into friendships. She found friendships more important than a relationship. Which, you know, is valid. It's valid. Just wasn't good enough for us. It was when all that happened, our jealousy came out. We started getting aggressive and sassy. It wasn't cute. Like it just wasn't cute. I was, I was getting heated, actually heated. Like, like why are you like this? Like why can't we just love each other and just? Live happily ever after, like, damn, like, why isn't it like a Disney movie, ha ha ha, you know, like, <sighs> well, we're definitely going to play another single player game, I don't know if it'll be the second game, or we'll probably play, um, something else, stay tuned, but that is it for this series, I appreciate you guys for watching, that was definitely something, and if you've made it all the way to the end, like, subscribe, appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon. We're going to end it here, and I will see, catch you guys in the next one. Bye.